Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of For Real. Here we are on the Campot Riverside. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday, so not much going on. Except for a few trucks passing by. Yeah, looking like it's going to rain a bit more. But I just thought I'd show you a few things that I might not have shown you before on this kind of part of the road. So, opposite the river you've got a range of Cambodian kind of dive bars. This one's called the Black Horse Cocktail. There's behind me the Cocktail Temple and beside this one the Mr. Cocktail Bar and several others as you go down the street. Now these ones they kind of pump out competing music of an afternoon early evening and um, try to get people in with their um, with their loud bass. <laughs> There's very seldom anyone in there. I guess um, in normal times there'd probably be a lot more people. But anyway, that's what we have. Move up a little bit, see a bit more. What's this one called? Uh, this one is called the Brother Restaurant. You can see there's the, um, <laughs> the remains of the Friday night party all over the floor there. Yeah, that's the brother restaurant. Don't think there's much food going on in there. Hmm, there's a few things that um purport to call themselves nightclubs along here as well. <laughs> very, very dodgy establishments. I would not be going in there. And just up where that roof is that you can see straight ahead behind that car, that's where the um, Rusty Keyhole Boathouse is. And we often go there for sunset beers because it has a lovely view. Alright, I'm just about opposite the Rusty Keyhole Boathouse right now and I just want to pan around and show you this place. So it's not much to see from the outside here but it's called the Two Moons. Now this is the Two Moons Hotel, not to be confused with the Two Moons Resort which is further down where we live. But this is a great option, they have cheap rooms, really nice pool area, great location. If you're looking to come for a few nights, um, yeah, you could do a lot worse than the Two Moons Hotel, check it out. I think this rain's going to clear. Anyway, I'm a little bit further up towards town than what I was before and I just wanted to show you this restaurant here. This one is called um, Happy Special Pizza and um, it's a great restaurant, really consistent, huge menu, nice staff, they look after the cleanliness really well, sanitize everything, can't say enough. And it's right on the corner opposite. Ricky Tiki Tavi, which is just there. A few doors on, and we have this place. It's called O'Neill's. They actually have um, a surprisingly upmarket menu um, that I've seen online. Never been in there, but love this old architecture. Has a good feel. Well, <laughs> what I can gather from someone who hasn't been inside there, but I like the look of it. Okay, I'm on a corner here. I just wanted to show you this building that's been under renovation and it's called Bacor Lounge. It's not operating yet, but I don't think it's too far off. Done an absolutely gorgeous job bringing this building back to its former glory. Big pots there, looking fabulous. Just about in the town center there. It's a really nice restaurant, also in a beautiful renovated colonial building. Very nicely done too, with the white, just looks so beautiful. And across the road, um, we have a very important thing there. There is the cart that sells bread and pastries. So it's a Belgian couple that own it and they make beautiful um, bread and I'm just going to go over there and pick up a Danish for Jeremy because we all know he loves a sweet treat. And the best of the sweet treats do sell out very quickly so you need to be here nice and early if you want the full selection at your disposal. So go over there and do that and then I'll show you a bit more. So this is the selection at Nom Tom Bakery just next to the fish market in the old town.
Okay, so this is pretty much Campot Central. Fish market there. And then if you swing around, that's the old market. So there's a block that runs on either side of this and I guess that's considered the town centre. So we'll go and have a look at that uh, in a bit more detail. So usually the places along these streets have a lot of people sitting out on the footpaths and stuff. Um, so it's good to come in the morning when there's no one around and um, film a bit more freely. So there's a few restaurants and bars on that side. Um, the central market thing has a row of shops on either side and kind of a walkway down the middle. Um, most of the shops are occupied but there's a few that are kind of sitting vacant, not much going on. But there's like a fruit and veg cellar down there, a few more bars, there's a burger joint I think. And over here there's a nice um, ice cream shop and there's an ice cream shop on the corner as well. But there were people sitting there and I didn't want to disturb them. So we'll go a bit further down here and have a look, see what else there is to see. Now those of you that are interested in the girly bars that have popped up in Campot, that is what we're looking at right now. It's called the Kiss Kiss Bar and of an evening, particularly on a weekend, you will see a range of young ladies sitting on those lounges out the front and usually very little going on inside to be honest, but they've got some classy fake grass there to, um, to get people to um, feel comfortable coming in. Yeah, so that's that's the um, the new CD, the Campot. Next to that, we've got the Two Brothers Bicycle Shop, where you can have your bike repaired or serviced, and they also do rentals and sales there. Pretty cool. All right, these places used to service um, tourist crowd. Uh, it says private room and dorm, three dollars. So we're talking um, fairly low cost accommodations right here. I'll tell you, that yellow car has just pulled in. I'm just about to show you the Laundry Cafe. They make burgers there that Jeremy likes very much. There's a little fruit and veg stand. We'll just keep going to the end of this block and go around the other side and have a look what's there. All right, this is the amazing Happy Pizza Pub 2. just makes you want to go in there doesn't it and next to that we have another girly bar one's called the Tanya Sinaga bar Let's see there's someone still there from last night asleep on their lounge and next to that we've got a blind massage joint seeing hand massage 5 I don't know whether they're still operating at the moment the other side we got Burger Shack and Pit Stop. Oh there's a Black Sheep Tattoo Parlour. I didn't know where that was but I've seen it mentioned on Facebook quite a bit. Now this place is probably the classiest of all the girly bars. They've actually gone to some effort with the decoration. It's called the Cool Girl Bar. Got another little fruit and veg stall there. And then across the way, we got some construction happening. This guy's doing some work here, up there on the awning. And this is delicious. They do really nice looking um, salads and um, dishes like that. Okay, so just down on that corner, I thought I'd show you a couple of things of note. Just um, directly in front is a place called Bookish Bazaar and doesn't look like much from the outside but upstairs they have a massive range of books. You'd be really surprised. Incredible. Uh, they also have a resident cat so definitely worth a look um, if you're around this area. Have one of Campot's more fancy restaurants here, Tertulia, and um, never been but 
have heard that they have a good reputation and good food. Okay, there's construction there that's been going on for a very long time. Don't know what it's going to be. Across from that we have Milano Pizza and Coffee. Now of an evening that place seems to have a lot of people in it. it seems to be very popular with um, expats. Now the Milano Pizza Cafe is on the corner so if you go around that corner next to it on the short side of the road is the Darwin Mini Mart and Grocery Store. It's a really good little shop that one, very handy, good range of stuff, really worth a look. And I'll just pan you around there, there's what used to be a guest house there. And just looking around there we have the Kiwi Mart which is um, good to know about. It's like a, a more modern kind of convenience store. And beside that we have the UCARE Pharmacy. So um, it's probably one of the two pharmacies that we go to a bit in town. They tend to be a bit more expensive. But um, yeah, sometimes we just go there because it's convenient. Okay, over there we have the old version of daily meat there's a new shop as well and next to that we have the natural cafe that place is frequently very very busy anytime i come along here during the day there's always people i think they do good coffee and breakfast and here we have the happy yummy pizza These are all 50 cent beer kind of joints. Okay, a bit further up on the left there we have Simon's, which is funnily enough an Indian restaurant. They do some really nice food and we get takeaway from there maybe once every two or three weeks. Good stuff, really nice food, good prices. Lovely service. Yeah, it's good. All right, so nearly back at the river now, and we have like a little convenience store, and beside that, another girly bar. This one's called the Nasher Bar. We love to serve you, it says, and it's got a picture of a lady on a pole there. See, I told you it was gonna be fine. The weather's clearing very nicely and just looking over there towards the old bridge and there's a few things i want to show you just on this portion of the um of the riverfront first of those things is this it's called the good morning campot guest house they have good cheap rooms great location and i think they also have a rooftop bar so definitely worth checking out okay and just beside the good morning campot guest house there's a little pharmacy and can't say enough about this place. They speak great English, uh, massive range of stuff, um, really thorough knowledge of what they have in stock. Um, yeah, great spot, good prices. Check it out if you need something. Uh, highly recommended. And next to that, there's a restaurant called Max's Italian Restaurant. We've been there once, it was lovely. Nice service, nice people. Definitely worth a look at that too. Okay, I'm just down here between the two bridges. And if I just swing the camera around, I am outside at one of our favorite places to come and have some food. This is called Ekran Noodles. And they do dumplings and um, hand pulled noodles. Really good stuff. But perhaps the best thing about it is that they have this lovely covered area where you can sit and see the sunset. Not only that, but they have and up a level as well so definitely a great place to come if you want to sit and have some food a couple of beers watch the sunset it's great food's delicious too particularly the um uh steamed pork dumplings are what we get most of the time we're just outside the campot referral hospital and this area just fills up with um 
little carts selling all sorts of stuff. So that lady's got sauces and fruits. Um, there's a lot of, um, you know, quick food kind of stalls. I guess servicing people um, that are visiting friends and relatives in the hospital and also, um, you know, people that are working there. So that's a good tip, I guess. You're always going to find cheap food around the hospital in Cambodia. I hope you've enjoyed this early morning tour of Kempot, seeing a bit more of the city centre. I hope to do more videos like this to show you just um, what's around, what life is like, what's going on, different times of day. Um, I hope you find it interesting. Leave a comment below if you'd like to see more of this kind of stuff or if there's something that you'd like to know more about. Anything like that, just um, drop us a line and we will get back to you. Thanks so much and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.